Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Don't Argue Podcast, your team, St. Kilda. So, St. Kilda, right, when the Saints go marching in, they normally do well. So, uh, they finish up the season on, at 6th with uh, 13 wins, 10 losses, points for was 1,775, and points against was 1,647. Um, St. Kilda of the season, um, St. Kilda of the season, uh, under a new coach as well, Ross, Ross Lyons, former Fremantle coach. Um, captain by Jack Steele as well. Um, they actually also celebrated their 150th year in, um, you know, uh, being formed. 150 years, so kudos to them. Uh, some, you know, they had the players, right? For example, uh, some of the good uh, Jack Steele, as I mentioned before, Wanganin, uh, Malera, uh, Matthias Filippo, um, Jade Gresham, right? Uh, Nick Co- Caulfield, Jack Billings, Dan Butler, etc. Um, you know, Tom Highmore. Just, yeah, there was just like the general um, team there. Uh, look, their season, right? Um, I think, generally speaking, they, they were expected to do better than last year. Um, but I think there was also like a, a bit of an unknown, particularly with the Ross Lions being, you know, uh, heading the, 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 the coaching position there. They start off their season with actually, well, four good wins in a row, right? Over Fremantle, Doggies, um, Essendon, Gold Coast, and they had their first loss against Collingwood. Then they actually beat Carlton, right? Then they lost against Port Adelaide. And uh, just, just as we go through the mid-season there, there was a few wins, you know, a couple of losses here and there. But then they had that decent stretch um, where they had, what, they, they basically won uh, five or six out of, you know, seven games there, five games. So, look, it wasn't too bad for them. So they actually qualified for the finals too. And unfortunately, that's where the party ended for them, losing to the GWS, uh, to the Giants there. Um, 77 points to 101. Look, overall, the, sorry, the St. Kilda of the season, I think, did well. Um, they did exceptionally well. They've got a very good uh, team there, and they should be pushing for the four. They, you know, they could have made the four easily, particularly if some of these games had gone their way. So uh, it's not doom and gloom for them. Um, if anything, it's actually a bright future ahead. So, yeah, that's it. That's my four in St. Kilda. Don't argue.